I have here Judy Morris from Austin, Texas. Are you talking? Yeah, hi. Okay, hi. <laughs> a, a, Judy, a very warm welcome to the Feng Shui Foon Show. We're so privileged to have you here with us today. Uh, Judy, let's begin by, uh, I know you, uh, let's share a bit about yourself and uh, your Feng Shui experience and your Feng Shui journey. Do you want the whole journey or, okay, <laughs> there was a journey before I got to the real journey, mm -hmm. uh, is the way I look at it, but I, I was, in, before we had internet, we had bulletin service boards, the bullet, yeah, so uh, I had seen something about Feng Shui and I was in search of information on it. It was just a little tiny book and it was that, and I digested it in about 15 minutes and then that was all I had to go on. And I went, but I just, my heart just went, oh my God, here it is, finally, this is it. So I started out with my clients working with them, my uh, consulting clients. I did a lot of, uh, lots of lots of different kinds of that kind of yeah. yep you, you helped a lot of clients uh, yeah other I was actually in the consulting field but I was breaking two new fields open up to the public yeah that I had and so then along comes the feng shui and I went okay I don't know three's the charm maybe this is what's really gonna gonna make the difference and uh it has so I found I found Master Yu uh, after the tele after we got you know we got uh, sorry for the st stammering I got distracted. Um, I saw that this uh, feng shui was really good, but it 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 left a lot of open questions for me. It's like, well, what happens if it's this or that? You know, I started putting in real life structures and studying it and going, okay, uh, if, if the door opens up in the east and then, but it's got a turn, where yeah. is the chi really coming from? You know, those kinds of questions, those kinds of things. So that's, um, so that's, I was hanging out with that. Uh, I did get some, I, picked up some information different places i tried it out what worked i'd talk about what didn't work i wouldn't talk about mm -hmm. and then along came joseph you and we got television i mean we got <laughs> <laughs> we got you know we got all kinds of tools and toys and everything to play with yeah so it's not uh, not such a such a deal to go uh all over the world and like you do and, and others in the school does yeah. it's just uh it's really really awesome to have have that and then have the people to bounce off of and the right clients that are really more interested in what is the structure and the placing and everything going to provide them and the quality of whether it's their school their hospital uh their family their you know their kindergarten uh, playground it's really and i say that not in fun it's real important where you put it so that's uh that's it i um i've been i've been at this actually for 30 years i've been with with you know with uh master you for 20 uh, 20 years of yes because um, oh, yeah. the feng shui research center celebrates a 20-year anniversary so that's right. you you were there at the beginning yeah yeah and I was there uh, like, okay, give me, you know, let me open the top of my head up and put, pour all your information in it. He, and and he, it didn't work that way, but it really has been quite the journey over these years to just, now I have people who go, oh, okay, I'm, I'm changing bedrooms. Now what do I do? I mean, the, I have clients that have been with me for 30 years and mm -hmm. some yeah and some new ones and so it's really uh really exciting and i'm i'm in a place now that has a lot of new construction and i get some you saw one of the projects that i did yeah. out there, the mm -hmm. family elder care uh -huh. yeah and uh and so there are many others and i'm now that we're having this big boom here in austin building boom mm -hmm. 
uh, I can see where I I can see where a lot of people have put their influence into the, the systems that they study, and I and I get to experience firsthand how that works out in uh, you know in human life. So at the Function Research Centre, we have a global reach in over fifty countries. So we can connect with our colleagues anywhere in the world mm -hmm. to. Um, talk about how Feng Shui works in their part of the world. So what you do, Judy, uh, and what we do in Feng Shui is we kind of manage the chi to kind of um, have, the, have our home and office, then mm -hmm. have the spiritual forces, the star supporters in getting, um, getting what we want. And that's what we do for, for our clients. So right. the study of flying stars and what we do professional is quite complex. For um, for people uh, tuning into the show, can you give a couple of easy and safe feng shui tips that anybody can apply to help them start shifting the energy of the space to be a more um, uplifting atmosphere? <sighs> The first thing I look at in that is well, what can, can I do a story form with it? Because yes, we, we love stories. Go share okay. story. Okay, good. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to make it linear enough people can. But I, I it's, nothing's linear in this world. So I had uh, I had two people, two ladies that uh, came to me, and they were roommates, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, they they were both. She was a, a nurse, and she did a lot of uh, you know helping people cross over and all of you know that. She did uh, she did a lot of that as well. And then the other lady, she was um, she had a, a very she had a lethal final. I mean, you know, it was just they said we can't fix you. You're broken. Your you know your system is just too weak for anything. And she could hardly walk across the floor. So here are these two ladies, and they're doing this. And um, this this one had hired me to come over, and so I I I, um, I said, so what what do you really want? And she she told me. And the main thing was that she wanted to die quickly. Oh. Because she was going to die. And she was, she had a leukemia and it was in the last stages. And there were all these things that were going on. And she, uh, she says, I'm, uh, and she was a, a very big, uh, she was a health, it, you know, she was, she was somebody that did, she ran the marathon. She did all that stuff and trained people how to do that. And then she came down with this and it just was like so darn unfair. And so, so, so she says, I want you to feng shui my home. Yeah. For me to die in peace. Right. That's a very unusual request. Isn't that? And then I'm like, Ooh, do I really want to do this? And she looked at me and she says, I know what you're thinking. And she says, and I'll make sure it's okay that, you know, it's not, you don't, get, you don't get charged with something or anything. And I said, okay, all right, good. So we re-landscaped the yard and we, um, you know, we moved. Uh, we we did some we we put a lot of investment in that house to remodel it so that it really would set her up to uh, you know, fulfill her wishes. Yeah, yeah, to honor her wishes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, like, did the job, and then I would call her. I call her every you know every couple of weeks or so, and just check in and see how things are going. And her roommate, I was you know doing some other kind of work with her because she was moved in, and so we set her up so she wouldn't take on you know a lot of stuff. And it was it was serious, but it was um, it was beautiful in so many ways. And she called me up one day. And she said, I had her, I had her reading stuff about in feng shui and different things that, that you know, people were doing and, and so forth. I said, you need, need not to, you know, just you, this way you can engage and understand what the markers are as they go through. And she called me up. She says, okay, I'm over it. I said, what do you mean you're over it? 
And she said, she said, I've decided I don't want to die. Oh. And I said, good news. Okay. So, I mean, I was over there and we shifted the house around totally. And it took way less time to feng shui it for life than it did to feng shui it for not life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had, uh, she lived, uh, she lived a good 25 years. Well, that is that is such an amazing story of how you really empowered somebody. Right. Well, and I, I just told, I said, look, here's what you have to do. Here are the here. Are, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a you know. I'm I'm none of that. It's just I know that if you take a pen and you do this, it's going to hurt your eye. Right. So there, there are things that or in our house that hurt our eyes and then we get a headache and then we get all this stuff. We well, want to find out what that is. Mm -hmm. I'm to find out what that is in there. I mean, I've, I have, a, uh, you know, I have a lot of crystals and things up there, really wonderful. And the books are all over the place because I'm in them all over the place. I'm yeah. constantly engaging with them. And I always get myself back to the basics with the, this book right guide. here. The yeah. Idiot's Guide to Feng Shui. That's right. Third edition. I don't subscribe to the others, but the third edition is my favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, uh, um, I, I really love um, that story of how you empowered somebody to um, not only live a better life, but to choose life. Yeah. Choice. Exactly. That's key in feng shui that is key in feng shui mm. you're choosing yeah mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. what um what you're doing judy is you created the space for the person mm -hmm. to make the wiser choice and right. um and that you do that by um, managing the subtle forces of chi Yes. So if, um, if someone's tuning into the show and then um, would you give somebody, what, what's your favorite easy to apply tip that anybody can use without us bringing you into doing a professional consultation? Is there, something, is there a tip that you can share with somebody that will help them after the show? They can go, go do it now by themselves. That's okay. safe to do. Here's one that I think anybody can do, right? Is go to your bedroom. Yeah. And look and see where is the bed? Where's the foot of the bed and the head of the bed located in there? Mm -hmm. And so we want to arrange the room so that your head is in a solid solid wall yeah mm -hmm. and that you can see who's coming back and forth into the bedroom so that your your sight line is there you have complete control of your of your life in that room right there <laughs> and then just moving those two just making those two things making sure that the bed that's another one uh, making sure that the bed is clean underneath. None of these drawers under the bed. None of these, uh, you know, put boxes under there and store all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but you know, we've got all kinds of stuff, fun stuff, and to go under the bed, and then people get they hurt. You know, it's because the chi can't work properly under there. It needs to have a smooth flow. Yes. And you need a headboard on your bed. That's not, so that's probably the high end. If if say you have no money and you want to make a difference, right? Mm -hmm. So go to the bathroom and look at the toilet and see where the lid is. Is it up or is it down? Right. Right? You want to have it down. Why do you want to have it down? You want to have it down when you flush. Right. And, uh, we, you know, we, we, we had a lot of fun joking around about that for many years. And then there was a scientific 
thing that came out and said, yeah, the spray goes like this and it's this, this visible and you get it, you're getting a shower in your, what's coming in, out in your, in your bathroom if you don't have a lid on. Right. So keep a lid on it. The thing is, just keep a lid on it. Okay. Keep it clean under the bed and keep the toilet down and keep the lid on. Okay. So your two top tips are make sure that the air can circulate under the bed so it's not blocked. Right. And the top tip is um, for people to uh, close the lid of the toilet before they flush. Yeah, and one more thing about the bed is just not just about keeping the uh, thing clean underneath it. You want to have the head of your bed so you can see who's coming and going. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in if, your you're, if you're when you're in bed. So if you're lying in bed, energy that's moving back and forth. So if you're lying in bed and someone comes into the room, you can see them. It's like going back to being feeling safe and protected whilst we sleep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, those those are really easy tips which anybody can apply um so thanks for sharing uh sharing that with us so um judy it's been a real pleasure to have you join us on um on the feng shui Foon show and if uh people want to uh reach out to you uh is it okay for them to, uh, what's the best way for people to come? Okay, so uh, I'm, open, I'm uh, ramping up with a new website coming up soon. It's actually, you can go to it. You, it's way unfinished, but it's pretty coming together pretty cool. And I'd love to hear some, uh, hear some average, uh, feedback on that. So it's uh, www.judy at... I, it's brand new and I think I'm losing it. I just forgot it. So go to, <laughs> go to uh, the same at Judy at F is in Frank, S is in Sam, R is in C, dot net, mm -hmm. dot com. Sorry, not dot net, but dot com. And uh, I'll, I'll re, uh, remember my new website soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so it's um, FSRC dot com. Dot net. Oh, oops. That's right. <laughs> oh, net. Let's get it right. <laughs> they didn't have a dot com there for when I was signing it for all yeah. of your so FSRC.net. And, uh -huh. uh, and that's where people can find you on your on your new website. Yeah, yeah. It's that you can, I, yeah, send me a, send me, shoot me an email and say, okay, send me your new website and I'll do that. Okay, we we'll find out who's interested. Eh? Okay. Really, really great. <laughs> well, um, Judy, thank you for sharing um, some fascinating stories about how you've empowered people with feng shui, and uh, you know, and also for for the top tips. It's been a real pleasure and privilege to have you join us on the feng shui Foon show. Maybe we can have you back another time and tell us some more. Uh, give us an update. Be great, be great. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll be launching the website uh, in within the next month, and uh, maybe we can, you know, let everybody know. Yes, yeah. this is exciting. And thank you so much. What a privilege to get to um, be interviewed by you. And you've done so much with this organization, and others. There are others that they're there, but do you stand like the? Uh, yeah, you're the one that's really held it keeping it really, really strong and having all those wonderful people around you, helping you keep it strong and keep the true feng shui moving. You, uh, you're one of the, you're one of the people, Judy, who's really helped kind of take things forward. So I appreciate you being you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And, and you. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Judy. Have a yeah, great yeah. day. You're welcome, fun. <laughs> Bye. Bye.